very, very sad day for the Fresno Police Department, the citizens of Fresno, and the law enforcement profession. The second highest ranking officer with the Fresno Police Department arrested on federal drug charges. News of the arrests, which left many shaking their heads in disbelief, came down this afternoon during a news conference by both the FBI and ATF agents. Besides Deputy Chief Keith Foster, three others were also arrested early this morning. The 51-year-old Deputy Chief is now facing federal charges of selling drugs, three drugs in particular, oxycodone, heroin, and marijuana. KMPH Fox 26 News reporter Eric Rosales joins us outside Fresno Police Headquarters with the latest on this developing story. Eric, everybody's shocked. <laughs> They certainly are, Ashley. You know, I did speak to a number of officers out here, and they just uh, they just can't believe it. They tell me that uh, that this was the uh, Fresno Police uh, Chief's right hand man, and that they just uh, they feel betrayed a little bit. Uh, you know, news of the deputy chief's arrest spread like wildfire inside the halls of the Fresno Police Department's headquarters. Now, I did speak with Fresno Police Chief Jerry Dyer, who said that he held a news conference with his own officers to discuss any questions or concerns that they may have. But as, uh, as he did say, that uh, no one is above the law, including his officers. The disappointment was clear on the face of Fresno's top cop after Police Chief Jerry Dyer says he was briefed by FBI and ATF agents on the details of the arrest of his deputy chief. I really um, at a, am at a loss for words, quite frankly, other than to say that uh, as the police chief, I'm extremely shocked and disappointed at what has uh, occurred with the arrest of uh, Deputy Chief Keith Foster. Chief Dyer says he learned of Foster's involvement in the federal drug conspiracy investigation after Foster was arrested early Thursday morning. FBI agents say that they have been trailing Foster for the past year and have both surveillance and wiretaps from his phone tying Foster to selling oxycodone, heroin, and marijuana. Several others were also arrested, including 41-year-old Rafael Guzman, who is facing charges of conspiring with Foster in the selling of heroin. Foster's relative, 48-year-old Randy Flowers, was arrested for selling oxycodone, and 35-year-old Jennifer Donabedian was arrested for selling marijuana. Agents say two others, Iran Dennis Denny Foster and Sarah Ibarra, were arrested late Thursday evening. Earlier, our cameras caught federal agents making one of the arrests in front of Pershing Continuation High School. A Central Unified spokesperson says it caused the school to go on lockdown for a short time. Chief Jerry Dyer says he hopes his officers can still hold their heads high. He stressed that Deputy Chief Foster and the others arrested are innocent until proven guilty. When we uh, place this badge on our chest, it is a badge of, of honor. And uh, there is a lot of responsibility that goes with that. And that uh, it is important that we do everything we can to maintain and enhance the trust that our citizens have in us. Foster and others will be in federal court to determine if they get any bail. Now, Foster is on paid leave, according to the chief. He has been stripped of his service weapon and also of his police officer duties. Ashley, it's just a very sad day out here. It, it really is, Eric. All right. And Dyer said Foster has served as deputy police chief for the past eight years. Foster joined the Fresno Police Force after graduating from the State Center Peace Officers Academy in 1986. He was sworn in as one of five captains in January 2005. In January 2007, he was promoted to deputy chief. Foster has been the division commander on patrol since March 2013.